Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another episode or video. I don't even think I can consider these episodes, but yeah, thank you for tuning in guys. I really appreciate all of you for coming to my channel, just watching my random videos. But today we're gonna be doing some more decal stuff. I just got some stuff in the mail in today from Especian Vinyl. Uh, I ordered some stuff that I wanted to try out, but Obviously, I don't want to make a full video of it yet just because I feel like um, if I don't do it wrong It's gonna be a waste of a day, but I'll probably make videos keeping you updated and seeing like what I'm doing So this one might not be as cinematic or might not even have like too much b-roll But you know what it is what it is Especially vinyls got some stuff um, But before we do a little unboxing, we're gonna have to go to the post office real quick because I have a package to drop off Let's actually take a little detour. We're gonna hop on the motorcycle I'll take you guys along with me uh, and then we'll be back and we're gonna be uh, Starting our day doing some decal work for Balduk brand. Let's go <laughs> We're back and yeah if you were wondering if it's that intense every time I ride my motorcycle yeah it is it's pretty intense but you know in the long run it is worth it but let's go ahead and get the unboxing started I, I really want to show you guys what I got and kind of what I want to try out today so I just want to be careful not to cut any vinyl don't want to mess anything up so never cut like downwards always cut like angled all right all right so <laughs> thank you Jessica for wrapping this up because there's a couple items in here. So I get my stuff from Expression Vinyl just because I like how they package things and you know they take care of the vinyl when it comes through the mail. Uh, don't recommend ordering anything on Amazon because they suck. The sellers on there suck. <laughs> like they'll tape up your vinyls and you know they just ruin like almost all of it. Thank you Jessica for <laughs> uh, wrapping this up for me nice and tight. I will have to kind of rip this apart <laughs> oh hopefully I I mean I don't even know why I put that on the camera but uh, yeah so I ordered kind of like the seafoam green vinyl I only ordered like a sheet because I wanted to try out but not gonna lie this color looks really nice and then we also got fluo yellow fluorescent yellow and this literally looks like what you would see on hazard stuff and then ooh, this is what I'm excited for they're called the brick 600 or something and basically they're thick, they're thicker vinyl. And I don't know if you could see that, but it is a good centimeter in thickness. And so I'm kind of excited to use this to make some new shirts, but with this uh, design, I think I'm gonna do like something very small and minimal. And then I also ordered it in white too, just to see with what I can come up with. And then also had to restock on the Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl. Got more of this so I could keep doing some more shirts and hoodies and stuff like that. All right, so I just finished working on the website a little bit. I kind of updated the listing for all the products just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I did create like a sizing guide, but I think right now I wanted to go ahead and try out this 600 brick, whatever, uh, Caesar. Yeah, it's pretty thick. So it has like some, some heftiness to it. So I'm kind of curious. I want to try it out, uh, probably on a hoodie blank. And then, so yeah, so I just want to go ahead and try it out, but I wanted to do something simple like very simple very minimal so i wanted to do this in about like probably like an inch so all right so i have the caesar brick 600 put in um so the settings recommend the 10th blade but or the blade depth of 10 but i don't know that's that seems kind of much and a lot of people are using like the blade 7 so i might try the blade 7 first and i i'm like really worried I've never used the blade this like deep, so I'm hoping it's all right. Okay, pretty cool. It's 
probably not the cleanest cut. Excuse me. And my plan is to kind of just have that in the middle. So that's how I kind of want it. I don't know if you guys could see it, but we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn the heat press on and we're gonna try this out. Hopefully I don't mess up. <laughs> All right, you know what? It did say we had to do both sides. It's supposed to be a cold peel, so... And then just for scythe measure, I don't think you're supposed to do it like this, but... Cool, and I think it's all good. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this, guys. So I don't know, it's hard to see, but so I haven't focused, but there's a little texture right there. You see how it's raised right there? That's basically the Brick 600. Not gonna lie, this looks pretty cool. All right, so yeah, this is the Anorant guys uh, with the Caesar Brick 600. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and uh, probably gonna end the video here. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.